recapping. It's uh, Jimmy Shine's uh, 34 Ford pickup. And uh, I just want to say I've designed all these pieces from drawings, from pictures off the internet. And basically, just like zooming up the photo and just measuring off the photo, as you can see here, see the door is just about the right size. So basically that's all you're doing. You're just copying the, the shapes off a drawing. Yeah. Um, where's the little bits here? here they are. See, they're a bit bigger. But I've had to change the front to make it a bit stronger. If you're going to be driving this thing right out of control. Anyway, we want to put the chassis together today. I've got all the bits basically for the chassis, I think. Yeah. And as you can see, I've... Uh, Cut this small, these are just the skewers, you know, bamboo skewers. There are uh, like 3.2, 3.3, 3.2, the old 1 8th. And pop them in there and all you do then is uh, basically put it together. You've got your two rears. You've got your rear piece, you've got the new spring piece that I've made, you've got the front, the centre, the back bits, you've got the side, and you can just locate them in the holes. Okay, the holes. And then sometimes I weld it together now. I can weld it together now. Just with a soldering iron. You want to make sure it's nice and flat on the bottom there. Just hold that for a bit. Yes. The other one holding it flat. Don't burn your finger when you're using the soldering iron. Holding it flat. Uh, we can touch it up on the back a bit here. Once again, if you had a um, bigger 3D printer, you wouldn't need to do this. You could print it all in one piece. Looks a bit wrong, doesn't it?
every model I know is it's all about the patience. So if you haven't got the patience, this isn't the hobby for you. Now I have still haven't put some of the holes in the other piece, but uh, we can still fit these on. Now put our rear bit in the hole there. This is just a, something to look good, just a bit more realistic. I'll just leave that loose for now. Once I said before in the other video. Just sits in there nicely and we've got these curved pieces that fit up against here. So it simulates the real thing. Clicks in all together very easily. That's all you need. Two together. I was actually thinking of getting a 3D printed pencil or pen, what they call them, to do this. I thought it'd be not too bad to try. Anyway, doesn't matter. I've never tried glue. You could try just gluing everything together if you don't want to weld it with a soldering iron. It's just up to you. Your personal preference, really. I suppose really this is not my first 34 chassis. I've um, I want to make that salt flats 32, 34 roadster, whatever it is. And, uh, down here, I've been working on this for some time. Last year now, actually, um, try to make a little bit smaller scale. Uh, lock in wheels, and that's coming along quite nicely. But uh, that's another project for another day. Like all modelers, we have lots going on. Now we can solder this back up here. Make sure you're holding it flat on the table because we want it nice and flat. Seems pretty cool. I got the door open there, blowing in nice lots of cool air, so you don't want to do this in a 
closed room. And now I'll just uh, screw the front uh, axle on just to hold it in place. I can weld the chassis rails up there, up the front. Uh, I looked up when I started, I started back in July, beginning of July, and it's now end of September, so July or September, three months to model this up on the computer using Fusion 360. Um, Fusion 360 is alright to work with. It tends to just uh, want to save your work whenever you do anything, so you'll have the really good idea and you'll be doing your sketch for your extrude or your whatever and um, you press finish and then it'll want to update so it'll save where you're up to exactly then so that is a good thing but uh, saving your work all the time for you automatically you must be able to turn it off but uh, a bit frustrating when you want to get stuff done quickly you've got to wait for it to upload it always it's on the internet uploads to the cloud but I really like it if you've learned used any CAD program you'll get used to it very quickly so there she is Got some twist and then I can build my body up on that to hold it all flat but that's enough for today there's one chassis 34 Ford Ute chassis ready to go and our next video we'll talk about the body because I'm really keen to get the body together. Thanks for watching.